Silence is the gateway to the ultimate encounter. Contemplation, the practice of the ultimate encounter, is not bright, shiny, sparkling, and flashing, but the desert, emptiness. Contemplation, the practice of the ultimate encounter, is not demanding of our attention, but easy to ignore. Contemplation, the practice of the ultimate encounter, is not loud, noisy, and intruding, but a still, small voice. Only silence, even if it is darkness, draws us to total light. What was before the Big Bang? The infinite silence. What will remain after the last star fizzles? The infinite silence. What is present to me in every moment and every experience of my life, whether I choose to acknowledge it or not? The infinite silence. I am awakening to the infinite silence everywhere present in my transformed relationship to life. The reality I previously experienced as enemy and intruder, I am now grasping as friend and intimate, the very source of life itself. Silence is the final reality's first language. If you love truth, be a lover of silence. Silence, like the sunlight, will illuminate you and will deliver you from the phantoms of ignorance. Silence will unite you to ultimate reality. More than all things, love silence. It brings you a fruit that tongue cannot describe. In the beginning, we have to force ourselves to be silent, but then there is born something that draws us to silence. If only you practice this, untold light will dawn on you in consequence. After a while, a certain sweetness is born in the heart of this exercise, and the body is drawn almost by force to remain in silence. I think I'm one of the Eckhart Tolle people who's addicted to thinking and and especially addicted to words. So silence for me is not so much about an auditory thing. Silence for me is about my my own brain being quiet. <laughs> I, I kind of always have music playing somewhere in the background. So for me, silence is more about quieting my mind and sitting still than it is anything external. And I've discovered I can do it in the doctor's office waiting room. Really, just about all I have to do is close my eyes and kind of shift from talking to listening and breathing is always right there, you know, close as my own breath. And all I really have to do is um, notice my breath or close my eyes and I, I am immediately, can be immediately in the silence, in the presence. Before I went on my cross country trip with the cycles just this year, I never really thought about silence once, and I've always considered myself a loud person, very uh, talkative. Uh, but I, on the cycles, I really learned the value of silence, and uh, I really, after I got back, I really learned how much of just that more peace I can be when I just there's no words being said or no sounds at all, but just my uh, not not even me reflecting, even just the nothingness that is there, that I can just, I, I think about the nothingness, I guess, I reflect upon nothing. And that's, uh, 
and that was just that was able what got my mind through uh, something as uh, hard as the disciples and still gets me through just day-to-day -day actions now pay attention to nothing because there's always always something going on in my head that really distracts me or is very the opposite of silent. Silence. I like it quiet. I like it in, at night when it's really quiet. But sometimes my brain doesn't want to be quiet. A lot of times I can be saying one thing, my brain will be saying something else on a completely different topic. So it's not very often I can get all that shut down. Um, but sometimes during meditation, occasionally when I'm driving, I just, I'll just not want to hear anything. I shut the radio off and I'll be going down the road and uh, there won't be anything going through my head. I, and that, that is not something I've been able to make happen. It just happens occasionally. To get to that point, especially in meditation, it starts with my breathing. Focusing on something wasn't getting me anywhere. So we talked about breathing. And for me, it was amazing when I started to do that. It was like there's a there's a wall right here, right at my neck, and I couldn't go inside myself. I couldn't do it. So I intentionally started to work on that, and it took some time, but I finally got to the point where I could follow my own breathing down inside myself. I can remember a time in my life when I always needed to have music on, the radio on. You know, there had to be, especially living alone, there had to be some other sound in the house, but I don't need that anymore. Uh, as a matter of fact, there are times when I may have uh, something on and turn it off because it's, it's interfering. Uh, so silence is critical for me, absolutely critical. If you don't have that silent space, you can't be aware. In the last couple of years, I've uh, started a yoga practice and where there is a focus on the breath and returning to the breath and a mindfulness of the breath and uh, I feel like it's a journey within uh, when you follow the breath and just the fundamental uh, power of the breath and how fundamental that is to life itself and uh, and going within in that manner, uh, even when there is external distractions and external noise uh, going on, uh, there are, I'm going to say, brief moments where I feel like that just all disappears and shuts down and uh, I really am focusing on the breath and there's a, there are always fleeting moments, but there are these moments where I feel like I've entered a, a silence that uh, is both calming and peaceful and it's wonderful and I want it to last and it doesn't but uh, um, I keep returning to that and I've been uh, practicing it more on a daily basis, a nightly basis and sometimes periodically through the day. It's always available regardless of the external circumstances around you it seems in my case to be very helpful a helpful tool to to enter a silence silent space within i guess the main thing for me in silence seriously means the uh, committee up here is no longer busy when the committee's not rattling on chattering chit chat chit chat chit chat this that and the other and so I don't know that really, for me though, it is silence when I can have, I call it some peace of mind. For me, the secret sometimes is simply, it's a matter of learning to focus in the now, focus on the present. Sometimes it may mean just saying a word like peace over and over and over, sometimes over and over and over until the committee zips it up and maybe goes out the door. Something to clear the channel in my mind. One way to focus on the moment she said, I am ironing. I am ironing the collar. I am ironing the cuff. I'm ironing the sleeve. I'm having dishes. I'm washing this dish. I'm rinsing this dish. I'm placing this dish here. 
kind of rote, kind of humdrum some, but it will stop the chatter. So silence is a, it is a state of conscious awareness of oneness. The ego drops away. The ego is verbal. I do a regular meditation practice, so for me, I, I'm in the silence a lot. It doesn't necessarily mean my thoughts stop. I, I, I go into a place where, for me, I'm, I'm very aware that there is sort of this dual self. There is the, the little s self, which is Lori, the ego self, and then there is this capital S self that is, um, that, is that infinite oneness. And I am an expression of that infinite oneness. And so when I, when I go into the silence, it's like I'm moving from one chair to another. I'm stepping out of the little S self and into the big S self. And so when I say I, it's a different I that's talking. And the thoughts over here in the little S self, they don't stop. They just keep going because that's what it does. It thinks. But I am in a different I that's standing back looking at that. And I can see the silent places between the thoughts. It's like stars on a night sky. All the thoughts are the stars, but there's big blanks in between that mostly we don't notice. And so it's a stillness, but it's a stillness that is um, very awake. It's not, it's not sleepy. And there's almost like a a very slow, very non-verbal conversation going on. Thoughts will arise up out of that stillness, but they're not ego thoughts. They're very, uh, they have a very different flavor, different um, feel to them. Can't really describe it, but there's no mistaking where the thought is coming from, whether it's coming from ego or coming out of that silence. It is time for me to step out into my life and begin communicating in the first language of the final reality. Join me in this still place. <laughs>